Hello everyone welcome to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update. This is your old pal news hound guru Pimpy coming at you with some fresh news and insights. Now, I don't know about you, but there's nothing that would make me happier than waking up in the morning and seeing that they've finally increased the exchange rate. You know, we've been hearing a lot of talk lately about this whole deleting the zeros business, but let me tell you something, that's just not what we want. Nope, not one bit. In fact, I'm glad to see that the chatter about deleting the zeros has died down a bit. That's a good sign, if you ask me. If they're going to make a change to the exchange rate, what we really want is for them to keep the currency we've got now. I don't care what those other jokers out there are telling you, it's not going to be as simple as just adjusting the exchange rate. Nope, it's gonna come off the currency itself. And that's just not what we're looking for. See, a lot of folks have been throwing around this idea of a LOP, that's short for larger denomination redenomination, in case you're not familiar. And let me tell you, that's not the way to go. We don't want them to go down that path. What we want is for them to change the exchange rate for the better, but without removing the zeros from the currency. That's the sweet spot, if you ask me. Now, I know there's been a lot of speculation and uncertainty around all of this, and I can understand why. It's a complex issue, and there's a lot of moving parts. But let me break it down for you as best I can. The way I see it, the powers that be have a few options on the table. They could choose to leave the exchange rate as is and keep the currency the way it is. Or, they could decide to adjust the exchange rate and keep the currency intact. Or, they could go down the path of a lop and remove the zeros. Now, as I've already made clear, the lop option is just not something we want. It's not gonna do us any favors, and it's not gonna solve the problem. What we really need is for them to focus on adjusting the exchange rate in a way that works for us, the everyday folks on the ground. And you know, I've been around the block a time or two, and I've seen how these things can play out. I'm not gonna sugarcoat it for you, there's gonna be some ups and downs, some twists and turns. But if they can get the exchange rate right, if they can make the changes we need without messing with the currency itself, then I think we're gonna be in a pretty good spot. Now, I know there's a lot of chatter out there, a lot of rumors and speculation. But let me tell you, I've been keeping my ear to the ground, and from what I can tell, the powers that be are taking this thing seriously. They know that the exchange rate is a critical issue, and they know that they need to get it right. So, my advice to you is this, stay tuned, keep your eyes and ears open, and don't believe everything you hear. There's a lot of noise out there, a lot of people trying to sway the narrative one way or another. But if you listen closely, if you pay attention to the facts and the figures, I think you'll see that the right path forward is clear. Alright, folks, that's all I've got for you today. Remember, when it comes to this exchange rate business, we want them to change it for the better, but we don't want them to mess with the currency we've got now. That's the bottom line, plain and simple. So let's keep our fingers crossed and see what they come up with. Until next time, this is Newshound Guru Pimpy, signing off. Thanks for the watching my video and subscribe to my YouTube channel Iraqi Dinar Update.